Let's take a look at how to create a box and whisker plot using our graphing calculator. So right here I have some data. These are the number of minutes that a group of students took to complete a homework assignment. And I want to use that uh, data and then analyze it uh, using a box and whisker plot. So I've gone ahead and already typed my data into uh, L1 over here. If you need to pause the video and do that, please do that right now. And once your data is typed in, let's go ahead and take a look at how to create the box and whisker plot. So before I hit uh, second y equals, actually just press y equals, uh, make sure you don't have any equations typed in here. If you do, it tends to uh, screw up your graph a little bit. So just empty out anything that might be in there. And when you're ready, let's hit second y equals to enter stat plot. This is the same place we used to go to create uh, scatter plots with other problems. So go ahead and uh, select plot one. We'll turn that one on. So right here, we'll turn it on. And then for your type, you've got these different options to pick from. Uh, the scatter plots we've made have always been this first option. We're going to take a look at these things, though, in the next couple days. So let's go ahead and scroll down to this fourth option here and press Enter on it. Uh, that's going to give us a box and whisker plot. And the difference between these two, they look very similar. Uh, this one, it's got a couple dots there at the end. They're hard to see. What that's going to do is uh, if there's any outliers in our data, it won't connect the box and whisker plot to those outliers. They'll just be separate dots. So we'll select that option, that fourth option there. Uh, make sure X list says L1. It should say that by default. And then we'll go ahead and take a look at this uh, box, box and whisker plot. The easiest way to set up your window is to use the zoom stat feature. So uh, let's select zoom. And then option nine is zoom stat. So either go down there and press enter or just press nine to do it. And what this will do is set up your window so it's nice and conveniently um, set up for you. So there's a lovely looking box and whisker plot. If you hit trace on here, you can also see some of these important points. There's our minimum piece of data, 33 minutes. Uh, we can find the Q1, the median, the Q3, and the max data as well. So uh, we can go ahead and answer questions if we wanted to using just this. Uh, what we'll do in the next couple of videos, though, we'll take a look at how to make a sketch of this by hand, and then we'll do the analysis in that video. So if you want to uh, keep watching, go ahead and select the next video, I suppose. Otherwise, we are done with that uh, using our graphing calculator to create a box and whisker plot.